Hello friends, welcome to my shop again where I share ideas. And uh, the last uh, video I made was on the uh, making up the uh, clamp for joining bandsaws together. Well, as I mentioned then, you have to scarf the ends of it so uh, uh, they give an overlapping joint where you can uh, silver braze it together. So I've come up with this idea here, uh, a little off-center uh, lever here, pushing down on a, a little piece of wood with a wedge at the bottom, and your uh, saw blade, bandsaw blade, goes in between there. So I'll zoom in this a little closer here so you can uh, take a look and how it works. Okay, what I've got here is I've uh, use small nails and with glue of course uh, put a, a backup board here you might say uh, first of all I made a line on here about where I wanted it and I had this little protractor type unit here and uh, mine turns out to be about eight degrees you can somewhere around eight to ten degrees is fine there and uh, then I using this uh, board here where she's going to squeeze it between and I've sanded and filed it off so when it comes along here these are just straight uh, parallel right here so this is also slanted out not don't make it just go to the end but if you go farther it gives a little backing for the for the scarf joint there and of course, this is just uh, off-center, made a circle first, drilled it a little off-center, so you can put it around there and uh, use it as a clamp there. <coughs> so your blade, uh, when you cut it, cut it right on the tooth, I think that's the wrong end. This is the end that I've, uh, working on here. Cut it just right on the tooth, then grind that little tooth off and uh, make sure it's square, perfectly flat, uh, and then it's ready to go in. If you work it just right, you can get it so the, uh, once it's joined together, the teeth have the proper spacing there. You could always uh, go for that type of Try to get it that way so you have all the teeth in the right order and you don't have a big gap or something like that. Anyway, that's my theory. I don't know how well it's going to work because I haven't done it yet. Still waiting for my silver solder uh, supplies. And then that will just go in, the t in there. And when it's put together, make sure this is... Make sure your backing is flush where it's sanded off there. And then, if you have it right, the end will line up, will line up right on the, uh, where this changes direction there. And it'll su supply a backup for the thing. Make sure it's flat down, and then just clamp it in and, uh, we're First ready to time go. I tried this, it didn't work with a hoot, worth a hoot. But uh, then I got to looking at it, and this crack wasn't even all the way along. So then I measured it from one side to the next. This is something you should check out. Make sure these are the same. Otherwise, as I said, it won't work with a hoot. Make sure that's the same. And uh, I didn't show you before, but on the bottom of this here, there's a little slide here that'll slide in this groove. That keeps it all lined up. So once it's clamped in, you got it done up right. This is all flat. And uh, when this goes in here, it should just clear the work. Just clear it. Just barely. And then it'll cut very accurately. So what I'm going to do this time, which I didn't do when I was just testing it, I'm going to put a little strip there, and I'm going to 
just you know lightly grind that off because when I brought it through here like that before this got quite hot here and actually enough to bend the wood there so I think it might be a good idea just to take that on there put that on without in the groove there I just take a little bit Once I got the little edge taken off, now I'm going to bring this in here like this. And if all works well. And uh, pronto, there's your scarf joint. Now this little bit at the end gets very thin, so you just trim a little bit of that off. Review, we'll just do this again. Uh, I've got just a little bit of uh, sticking out there. The uh, backup board is flush here, and it's all flush, ready to ready to sand. And uh, I'm going to put that there on again. For some reason, I thought I'm just using pieces here, and I thought I had to turn uh, the other one with the teeth uh, down, but I did it, and it didn't work. So I thought oh, that's funny. Anyway, this is, the, this is the next one that I had to do. Just lightly review, re take a little bit of that wood off before I uh, lay it across. And uh, there we go. A little bit blue, but that's okay because we're going to heat it up with a torch anyway. Okay, I finally got the uh, scarfs going the right way on this uh, short piece that I'm just experimenting with there. And uh, if all things uh, work out right, I'm just holding this in the micrometer where the scarf joint is, the overlap, and it's uh, measuring the same as the, uh, in fact, I think I got it one thousandths over, right where I'm holding it there, of the actual measurement of the, of the unit there. And it just, anyway, we'll get back on this as soon as my uh, silver solder supplies come in and I'll uh, weld up a few bands and test them out. Thanks for watching and subscribe so you can get more updates.